All right, so today we are going to be learning about a tool named Coggle. Okay, the goal today is for you to be able to use what you've learned in exploration and put it into this tool, Coggle, which is a mind map. So that's why the title of our assignment today is Age of Exploration Mind Maps. Okay, now you all have this on your device right now, so go ahead and advance with me to the next slide. This slide that you can see a little closer up on your screen, you'll notice I've circled three areas of this. And this is a graphic that tells you what the technology standards are in a student-friendly way, what we as teachers are tasked with being able to teach you and make sure that you can do. Um, I use technology to set goals, work toward achieving them, and demonstrate my learning. Okay, so of that one, hands down for one second, of that one, my goal for you is to demonstrate your learning, okay? Okay, this is a big part of today's lesson. Okay, creative communication is what we're going to be doing with mind map. You're going to be able to make your mind map yours. It is going to be a representation of what's happening in your mind. We all function differently. So that's one of my goals for today is for you to be able to use this tool to um, express yourself creatively. I understand the rights, responsibilities, and opportunities of living, learning, and working in an interconnected digital world. Perfect. So the last goal I have today is to make sure that you understand when you go to pull images off the internet, what you need to look at to make sure that you're using them correctly. I want to show you this quick brain pop video about mind mappings. A concept map is a tool for displaying your understanding of a topic. You can personalize your maps with images and all kinds of creative layouts. That makes them fun to do and useful for all kinds of learning. Today I want to teach you how to use this tool before I set you loose to make your own on everything that you've learned so far on Explorers. And you're going to add to this as you go um, in your learning about the um, age of exploration. So Coggle is the name of the website and it is a free mind mapping tool but I need you to understand that it has some pay features to it. The majority of what you need to do is absolutely free so when you find something that is a kind of a roadblock don't get frustrated it's okay just move around it and you'll be all right. Okay so in um, if you're on this slide with me Coggle is actually hyperlinked so click on that so that you can head to Coggle. At the bottom you see the little place that says sign up now. Yes? right down here. Go ahead and click on it. Okay? Click on sign up now. You should see a box that pops up that looks like this. Okay? That, and you're going to see where it says sign in with Google. Click sign in with Google. When you get there and you choose your email address, then it's going to pop up and show this array. Yes? Okay. You're going to, when you see the green Education, you're going to hover over it and you have three options, student, teacher, administrator, okay. and you're going to choose student. Then you're going to have this option, concept maps, mind maps, and flowcharts, and we're going to focus on mind maps. All through this, you're going to see that different times it's going to give you a little help thing that's going to pop up. And so in your upper left-hand corner, it probably says create a new diagram. Whenever you come across a prompt that says, okay, got it, just read what it says and if you think it's something that you might want to see again, you can choose hide for now and it will pop up the next time you come back to Coggle. Or if you're like, yeah, I think I'm not going to need to see that again, you can just click OK, got it. You're going to see in the upper right hand corner probably a little icon that has your face on it or whatever you have for your Gmail, right? You can invite people to join your project and you can control what they can do. Kind of like when you share a document in um, Google. So you can do the same similar things with this. Right now you're going to start off everybody just working on their own. In the bottom right hand corner I noticed that it popped up on Samantha's screen. There's a question mark and what's really cool about the question mark is that it gives you all these little help tools, shortcuts with the keyboard, that kind of thing that you can use. And so at any time, it's always in the bottom right hand corner, anytime you're like wondering what to do, while you're making your diagram, this is how you can go to see what you can, what tools you have available. So let's get started. I want you to, you should have in the middle of your screen, it should say click to edit title, right? You see that gray box in the middle? I want you to click in the gray box and create your title. Now when you went to type, 
you should have seen a box pop up like this. Okay? So, you know how I like a different font. Yeah, you don't have those kind of options here as far as changing the style of the font. But you can change it to bold. You can change um, it to italicized. Um, and this box has it in the bottom right-hand corner, but sometimes it might be in the left in, or the upper corners, either one. But you're going to see this little um, icon right here. Do you see that in your box? Yeah. Grab it and pull it and it will change and it will tell you what it's changing the font size to so you can go to whatever size font you want it to be by dragging it and you can drag it back and forth to kind of find the right size font does everybody have a title I will tell you that if you decide you want to bold it or italicize it you will need to select the text and then click the B or click the I to change it okay other cool options okay you are going to be able to do curved lines by dragging them around. You're going to be able to lengthen your line by dragging it away from the arrow. And you are going to be able to add as many extensions as you want or need. So how do I do those things? So you've already found out, most of you, that when you hover over these four points that I mentioned to you earlier, you get a plus sign. Okay. And it's going to add a line, and it's going to determine what color it's going to be. So you decide which direction you're going to go with it. You, the first thing when you do a mind map like this is you need to have your categories. And again, this is a process of just putting everything you can think of, like the video that we watched a minute ago. Everything you can think of. So the way you structure it may change, and you might go back and re, uh, rename things, or you might redirect things. Um, or just comp change complete direction with something. This represents the way my mind thinks, okay? If you decide to do it differently, you don't have to ask my permission. I can grab it with, when I get the hand, I can move the whole thing and work in this section. Okay, so when I see the hand, I can drag, but when I see the finger, I can move. So I can pull that plus sign. Look, I just added that over there, and now I have this, and I can make this a completely different thing itself. Okay, so now I have LaSalle, and now once I have him here, then I can drag him someplace else, and I can make it long. I can make it go down. The last thing I want to show you, I'm going to go to Images, and then I'm going to go to Tools. And this menu drops down for me. And I can click on usage rights. And this is where I'm going to choose labeled for non-commercial reuse. Non-commercial. Commercial means business. So we're not going to sell anything with this. Okay. Um, and, we're, and it says with modification, which means if we wanted to change something about it, we could. So we don't really need to modify it. So we're going to go ahead and just say label for non-commercial reuse. I want you to go to open a new tab. I want you to go to Google and I want you to search for maybe a Caravel. And then I want you to go to tools. And then once you get tools, go to usage rights so that you can kind of see how that works. focal point. I want to talk about what we have learned today. So tell me one thing you've learned about using Coggle. That's the way our mind works. It's the way our mind works. There is no right or 
There is no right or wrong. Excellent. I'm so glad that you know that there is no right or wrong in doing this because it's how your mind works. I'll figure out if the picture is copyrighted. I learned that it's fun. You learned that it's fun. Yay! I'm so excited that it's fun. All right. So you guys have about a few more minutes to work before we transition to the next thing, okay?